Welcome, I'm David Geiger. Iowa's corn and soybean harvest this year is slightly behind the average. According to the latest crop progress report out from the National Agricultural Statistics Service, farmers used the five and a half days good for field work to put about 5% of corn in the bin, about a day behind the five-year average. Corn in the dense stages at 97%, a week ahead of the average, with 63% of Iowa's corn crop reaching maturity, a day ahead of average. Corn conditions are at 64% good to excellent. 90% of soybeans are coloring with 61% dropping leaves, about a day behind the five-year average. Soybean harvest is at 7%, three days behind normal. Soybean conditions are rated 62% good to excellent. State climatologist Justin Glisson says it's been a good couple of weeks for harvest, and the forecast shows continued good news for farmers. We've seen in the last several iterations a, a higher probability for warmer temperatures and drier conditions. Those are the very helpful conditions in terms of dry down in the field, but also keeping combines rolling out there uh, as we uh, plow through harvest. Glisten adds yields will be variable, but future conditions are ideal. The warm and dry weather has taken a toll on the soil, however. Topsoil moisture conditions are at 43% short to very short, with subsoil moisture at 50% short to very short. Glisten says the short moisture profiles are cause for concern. While last year was similar to this one, Iowa had the 8th wettest October on record. He's hopeful something similar will happen this year. We would definitely like to see, uh, once we get harvested, the faucet turn on a very wet fall. To get out of these drought conditions that we're seeing, uh, we would need several months, if not a full year, of above average totals to chip away at those D3 deficits, especially northwestern Iowa. And moving into the week, our analyst Don Rose has more on the markets. The grain market uh, midweeks trying to add some risk premium to the market. The uh, uh, harvest progress continues to move along, uh, you know, about on average, uh, roughly 12 percent of the corn, 8 percent of the soybeans harvested. Crop ratings more steady. We are having some uh, risk premium ad added to the market today as the uh, Ukraine looks like Russia is going to annex them into uh, Russia. So uh, risk premium off harvest seasonally. The market does come under pressure this time of year. The cattle market is uh, kind of is continuing to struggle with the outside uh, markets uh, stronger here. We do have the, uh, the dollar continues to move higher, slows down the exports all those last week. Uh, you know, we did have good exports. The overall cattle market is a, a, a market that is choppy. Uh, packer margins have sunk down to about $20 a head. Cyclical bull market continues in the cattle. The hogs having a risk off uh, type of a market. Seasonally, the uh, slaughter is continuing to uh, pick up, and we also are seeing the weights continue to gain. And uh, the positiveness in the market is the discounts that we have in the futures versus the cash market. But all eyes are focused on the hog and pig report on Thursday. That's all I have for the agribusiness report today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. We have our stories online. Head over to who13.com, click news, and then agribusiness.